Hey everybody, this is part two of the series on your itchy dog and uh, the uh, veterinary diet uh, solutions. And uh, in, in part one, if you didn't see it, please go back and watch that. It deals with uh, the approach of using novel protein sources to relieve your dog's uh, signs and symptoms. And this, we're gonna get into hydrolyzed protein, which is really pretty cool. Uh, so I'm just going to jump right into it. We go back to uh, Owatonna, Minnesota, where I, I take this at my son's house. So uh, watch this, even with my uh, props from my uh, grandson's uh, uh, toy chest. But uh, hopefully it'll get the point across and you'll understand why hydrolyzed is probably the better way to go. And that's the way most vets would, would uh, recommend. So what came after novel ingredient diets was what's called hydrolyzed diets. And hydrolyzed really changed everything and it's just an awesome, um, awesome way to do it. Um, hydrolyzed, what does it mean? It means we're basically gonna take the protein molecule, the allergen, and we're gonna break it down with enzymes nice and safe. There's no harmful chemicals or, or drugs, something that we would do if you were making human products. <laughs> this is uh, totally safe. Uh, it's actually the same process of breaking down proteins in baby formula. So that's been going on to, since the 70s. And uh, it was probably, I'm gonna guess it was in the 90s that hydrolyzed diets hit the market for um, for pets. And uh, both Purina, Royal Canin, and Hills were working on the research. Uh, wasn't that, uh, you know, space age again. We've been doing it already with, uh, with baby formula. But uh, Purina actually was the first ones to get to the market. It's always fun to be first. And uh, they called it a modified protein. And basically what they did is they broke that protein molecule down to about 12,500 Dalton. Now, I'm going to say some kind of weird stuff here. Dalton's is a molecular measurement. Dr. Dalton must have been a lot of fun at parties, but he's the guy that gets to, uh, his name is on that as far as the molecular weight of the protein. So uh, since I'm at my grandkids house that have all kinds of props for me to use, I don't have my slides from when I was still working. So uh, let, me, let me try to use this. So uh, this is a protein molecule. An intact protein molecule is going to run anywhere from 18,000 up to 35,000 Daltons, okay? Um, now somebody's going to mow the lawn, so I'm not sure if this is going to work now. Darn it! <laughs> we'll, we'll try it. The dogs will now start barking at the mower, so this may not work. We'll, we'll try it. <laughs> They're all running out there. Okay, um, so here's this protein molecule. Basically what happens in your dog if you have an allergy dog is it comes and it attaches to these Ig receptors that uh, attach to a mast cell in the skin. And then that mast cell releases histamine. And then you get your various symptoms, okay? So again, the protein molecule comes, attaches to those Ig receptors to the mast cell, and boom, histamine release, okay? Hydrolyzed protein, what we're basically gonna do, and again, I'll, I'll talk about Purina since they were first, give them some credit. They shrunk that down to 12,500 Daltons, 12,500. Royal Canin got it down to 10,000 Daltons. When I say got it, this is what they were claiming these companies when they launched these products. So 10,000 Daltons is better than 12,500 because what? It's smaller, okay? The whole idea is to get it small enough that it can only attach to one half of that Ig receptor. Does that make sense? Kind of like half a plug going in the wall uh, you're not gonna, sorry, that wasn't good, this one's better. <laughs> it's a weird day here. Um, if you only have half an electric plug, you're not gonna turn on the light, right? You're not gonna get an electrical response. Same way with an allergy response. So if I can take away half of that Ig receptor by shrinking that molecule, I'm good. Uh, Hills came in with ZD, it's still out there to this day, and they claimed their molecular weight, their Dalton size was 3,000 Daltons. So 3,000 Daltons was the lowest of the, the three initially on the market. And the whole point was get small enough to only, and you, it, this is a good illustration from my uh, grandson's toy chest. Um, it's like attaching here, but it's too small to attach to both. So what happens? There's no response, there's no histamine release, and voila. This can be chicken protein. That dog could be deathly allergic to chicken, but because we've hydrolyzed it, his immune system doesn't know it's there. 
Does that make sense? So Purina at 12,005, um, I have seen that diet work. I've seen Royal Canin's diet work and I've seen ZD work. Um, so the question is really do, do, what Dalton size really matters. Um, the derm experts say 10,000 Daltons is the is the is the uh, biggest you want to be. You want to get below 10,000 Daltons. Well, Purina has been at 12.5 with their HA and uh, it's it's worked. So again, there's no gospel number as to Dalton size. I don't hear too much about Dalton size anymore, but I know that is what makes the hydrolyzed diets work. Um, one, a couple things that are really good about it, uh, it works faster. Don't ask me why or how, I'm not gonna get into all the chemistry and everything, but it seems to only work uh, about six weeks or so, you'll see if the, the diet's gonna work. So that's really nice. Uh, it's still an elimination diet. You still have to kind of live in that cave. Sorry, that's just the way it is, uh, but it works faster. The other thing is you're not playing a guessing game. They will not respond to that uh, IG, IG you know, receptor being uh, not activated so uh, you don't have to worry about did I pick the wrong protein source or is my dog gonna start having an allergic reaction to this food down the road they're not gonna so that's that eliminates a lot of that but it's still an elimination diet it took forever and when I say forever <laughs> personally I think it took it over a decade to get veterinarians to stop using novel ingredients and switch to hydrolyze but now I think if you talk to most uh, general practitioners, they really like hydrolyzed because it works. And it's a great diagnostic tool. Getting back to, if I said it before uh, when we started, I like to go with an immediate solution that works and then work from there. Can, can we get off this diet and onto something else that's not as expensive or that I could use long term, but at least I've relieved the, the allergy symptoms and we're working from there because of how frustrating it Okay, and we are back in Colorado again. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Uh, that was the most in-depth um, analysis of hydrolyzed protein I think I've ever seen or done myself because normally I have PowerPoint slides that make it a little more impressive, but a uh, little basketball and a, and a pink egg, that was, that was different. But hopefully you got the point. So um, just to, to summarize a little bit here, uh, Dalton size, in other words, getting that molecule uh, small enough that it doesn't attach to those Ig receptors. We'll get back into that again. Um, they all pretty much seem to work. Even uh, even Purina at twelve thousand five hundred Daltons, um, I've I've seen it work. So really, to me, as a nutrition nut or nutrition freak, whatever you want to call it, um, okay. So the, the it's treating the condition, great. Uh, but I'm not just treating an allergy, I am feeding a whole dog. So again, I'm gonna use the word holistic because I think it applies here. Uh, I wanna make sure that this diet not only is controlling their immune response, but it's also a healthy diet, that it's producing healthy skin and coat, that the stool and digestive uh, system is, is normal, that uh, even more critical as the dog ages, am I helping to protect the kidneys and the heart? I'm not uh, overtaxing them with excessive protein or excessive minerals from ingredients that shouldn't be there. So I'm gonna take a much more holistic approach than just, well, this diet works, he's not scratching, so I'm, I'm happy. Well, I'm sure you're happy, but again, is there a difference in the nutrition in these foods? And I used to love it as a Hills rep when I would make sure that I had the time to go through and show that a Hill ZD is made for the adult slash senior dog. It is not made for puppies, okay? I think there's actually a few, a few hypoallergenic uh, puppy foods out there. Um, Hills does not make one. ZD is for adult slash senior. What do I mean by adult slash senior? If you looked at the protein and the calcium, phosphorus, sodium, all those minerals, they're all um, um, the correct amounts, the correct ranges for that life stage. Okay, um, uh, Royal Canin's, um, it used to be HP and I think they just changed it to PS or something like that. And my apologies that these food companies keep changing their names faster than even I can keep up with. But uh, they're novel ingredient diets for adult dogs, so this is adults, not the puppy. Um, last time I looked, those nutrient levels actually were uh, right in line as well. So great, that's good. Um, now their Dalton size was bigger. Remember it was 10,000 Daltons instead of 3,000. But it was, um, as far as the nutrient levels, they were appropriate for an adult slash senior dog. When I looked at Purina HA, I mentioned them, 
Um, their uh, mineral content and uh, protein levels, especially the mineral content, was really extremely excessive. So I would not want to be feeding that to adults, especially an, an older dog. And I found the same thing with um, Royal Canin Zoltamino. Uh, again, the mineral content extremely high, nothing I would want to feed to my adult slash senior dog. So uh, I apologize, I'm, I'm just throwing opinions out there without showing you actual numbers. Just don't want this to go real long. You have to trust me, or maybe when I do comparisons on these diets, uh, you can look at the actual nutrient levels. But that's how I've been trained by board certified nutritionists. Don't just look at does the diet work for this problem? How healthy is it in preventing disease? And overall, again, holistic is a great term to use there, though Hills, I'm sure, would never put that on a, on a bag, or Royal Canaan will never put that on a bag. They might as well put holistic and put a wolf on there, and then they'd probably sell more product. But anyway, I, don't, I keep slipping, slipping into marketing. Um, but anyway, I just wanted you to be aware of that, that um, more goes into these diets than just hydrolyzing the protein. Let's make sure it's appropriate for the life stage to help keep them healthy because we're not just dealing with an allergy dog, we're dealing with a whole dog. So I hope that makes sense. That was hydrolyzed. Come back for part three and we'll get into the really neat uh, part about the, the next step into how do we deal with all the environmental allergies that most of these dogs with food allergies probably have an environmental allergy as well. So uh, we'll tackle that in part three.